You're watching TTT Boxing in association with IFL TV and KO Clothing. I'm, fresh, I'm joined by uh, Brock Jarvis, fresh off his win here tonight in Sydney to go 6-0. and KO in the first round, Brock, how, uh, how are you feeling? Yeah, I feel good. Um, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, obviously, everyone trained for the first round knockout, but you know, I was ready. I was ready to go, ready to go six rounds tonight. Uh, I hit him with a good shot. Obviously, uh, I'm training that every every single day for that shot, and you know, I, got, I got lucky to get it. And yeah, early night tonight. Yeah, absolutely. And that's five knockouts from six fights, and you know, you're fighting at a lower weight, so it's much more impressive than say, you know, if you're sitting a cruiserweight or anything like that. Is the power something that you and Jeff work on, or is that something that's natural? Um, uh, no, no, that, it's definitely a thing that we work on. Um, it shows me, it shows me how to do things. It shows me how to pull my core into every shot. You know, I don't, don't want to be touching people with any shots. Of course, you want to set shots up. When you set that shot up, you want it to, to hurt. So you, you got to dig deep. With it. Absolutely. Absolutely. And what's it like, say, for you um, being from Marrickville, having the Marrickville Mauler Jeff Fennick in, in your corner and, and training with you? What's that like every day? I, you know, this it's the best. It's a dream come true. I've always, Jeff's always been someone that that I personally look up to. He's, he's a big inspiration to me, and you know, um, I can't, I, I'm blessed to be able to train with such a such a good guy. You know. And and say only six and over. You and Jeff have travelled a fair bit for these fights. Obviously, yeah, went out to Mexico yeah. earlier this year and, yeah. and Thailand as well. I think yeah. before. Yeah. So, um, how have those experiences been? And, and how nice is it to fight in Sydney? Um, well, in Bangkok, it's. Well, I've got to say, in Mexico, you know, we trained, um, one of my training partners, uh, Jai Patea, we both went over there with Jeff, took us both over to fight on a, a world title undercard, and um, very privileged to be able to do this type of thing, and, and, and it was a big eye-opener, seeing, you know, seeing what the gyms are like over there, trying to spar with those guys, and how, how hard they live, and to, yeah, I feel very privileged to, to be able to fight over there, and, and to get the win, you know, just yeah, and how different is it, say, winning on home soil to winning on foreign soil? How how is how does that compare? Um, well, at home, you know, I'm comfortable here. I've got my home ground, of course, and over there, you know, you're the outsider, so it's, it's a lot different. But um, you know, I'm just I'm, I'm super lucky to be able to, to have fought overseas. And, yeah, blessed. yeah, definitely, and hopefully we'll see more of that. Although we'd definitely like to see you more in Sydney as well. Are there, is there a plan in place for next year? We're going to see you out early in 2017. Absolutely. Um, this is this, this is what I want to do, and we're going to be working hard at it, and we're going to be keep busy and fighting. Hopefully, get another six fights next year. So, let's hope. Let's hope so. I know everyone downstairs would like to see you probably in the ring for a little bit longer. And um, look, we wish you all the best. Go and enjoy the rest of the night, and uh, we'll catch up with you soon, hopefully. Thank you. Nice one. Cheers, Brock. Thank you.